Welcome to DMC Medical Matters. For this episode, we are joined virtually by Dr. Tina Chopra, who is the Director of Infection Prevention and Hospital Epidemiology here at the Detroit Medical Center. And today, Dr. Chopra is going to talk to us about the COVID-19 vaccine. Thanks for being with us, Dr. Chopra. Thank you, Brian. Thank you for having me. You can me. give us a brief description of the two vaccines that are now available to help slow the spread of COVID-19. Sure. So these are uh, mRNA vaccines. Uh, they are two kinds, Pfizer and uh, Moderna. Both of them have the same principle. They both induce an immunity in, uh, in our bodies. They are based on M messenger RNA. It's like a message that is given to the cells to produce antibodies to a component of the virus without causing the disease itself. Uh, we need two shots, whether we get Pfizer or Moderna, we need two shots. Uh, it's a two shot series. For Pfizer, they are 21 days apart. And for Moderna, they are 28 days apart. And both the shots are needed to get 95% efficacy. Now, you, you talked about getting two shots. Why are some vaccines like that? They require two shots, some others don't. Sure. So in the trials, when they studied both the vaccines, uh, they noticed that the first shot gives 50%, almost 50% immunity, efficacy. And they to achieve higher efficacy, you need a booster shot, the second shot, which will give us at least 95% protection, which is huge. Uh, traditional vaccines have given us anywhere, for example, flu has given us 60% efficacy and which is not very good. So given the nature of the COVID pandemic and given the fact that it causes such severe illness, scientists have come up with this novel vaccine that can give us 95% efficacy and it's just a testament to science that we have this vaccine available for us and is so safe. Now, you know, uh, there are many people who are reluctant to get the vaccine. They may be waiting uh, for to see how it goes for some people who uh, get through the second dose. What can you tell those people in terms about the safety and the effectiveness of this vaccine and why it is so important that they get it? Sure. I think the first thing to remember is that the vaccine can cause some reactions in the form of uh, local pain, redness at the site of the injection, muscle aches, fatigue. Uh, the first shot doesn't cause as much uh, reactions, but the second shot uh, has shown to cause even low-grade fever and chills and fatigue, which lasts for a day and gets relieved with Tylenol. I got both the shots and I, and I had some fatigue after the second shot and body aches as well. But um, this only shows that your immune system is working, which is a great thing. So I was grateful that my immune system is working and it's trying to generate these antibodies to protect me if I am exposed to the virus itself. So the vaccines are extremely safe. They have been well studied uh, and I would urge everybody to get them. Uh in terms of getting vaccinated, what about maybe women who are pregnant or who want to get pregnant or people who have a weakened immune system? Um, is this vaccine safe for them to, to receive? It is very safe for them. Uh, there were several participants that were included in the trials um, where the vaccine was tried. And according to American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, they do recommend that the vaccine has more benefits than risks in pregnant and lactating females. So they should get them. They are going to protect them. As far as immunocompromised individuals are concerned, they may not mount up the same antibody response, but then the scientists believe that some response is better than nothing at all. So I would urge all all of them to get vaccinated. The only people who have contraindications as per CDC are allergic reactions to any mRNA component of the vaccine. All other patients can get vaccinated. Now, is there a take home message for everyone as we wrap this up? What, what should people know? And, and maybe if they have questions, what should they do uh, going forward as, as this vaccine starts to roll out all over the country? I think um, there are several resources that they can uh, go to, like CDC, Centers for Disease Control. DMC has its website as well to answer a lot of these questions. DMC is doing several webinars. 
and uh, expert sessions where uh, they can get more information. And I think the take home message would be that um, trust in science, uh, science is very reliable and reproducible and credible. Uh, so with this trust in science, I would take the vaccine because it will help us end the pandemic and build up this herd immunity. The last message, but not the least message is that as you get vaccinated, you must keep wearing your mask uh, as the vaccine will not prevent asymptomatic transmission. And there is still a 5% chance that you can get COVID. So please keep masking yourself. All right. Well, thanks, Dr. Chopra. Thanks for all the valuable information. And thank you out there for watching. For more episodes of DMC Medical Matters, visit our website at dmc.org slash medical matters. Thank you.